Hello everybody, my name is Sven Malvik and today I want to show you in the JBoss uh, SUA suite how we can change the data source from the in-memory um, hypersonic to MySQL. So the last time we deployed a SIEM booking application to the JBoss application server and uh, every data were was uh, stored in the in-memory so when we want to keep that uh, information we have to change the um, data source to another database like a MySQL or Oracle or MySQL server. So we are going to change it uh, to the um, MySQL today. So the first thing I want to do is uh, starting the application server. And uh, so we are changing the directory to the bin and um, starting the batch server. And um, in the meantime, I want to show you the um, the actually XML file for the booking application, which was deployed to the deploy folder in the application server. So now we are going there in my user directory. J boss application server and um, server we have the default configuration and um, our deploy directory and um, here is the application the booking application but uh, the XML file is actually here so here we are seeing that uh, we uh, took the hypersonic um, database so when we are changing uh, everything um, or when we are re registering a user for example um, we um, it's just a memory so when we are restarting the server it's gone that's bad so let's take a look um, in the admin console eighty eighty admin console there we are just waiting a little bit take some time so admin admin logging in and then we are going to our application the uh, same application and uh, opening the configuration There we are. Now, sorry, we want to go this time to our data sources. And uh, here's our booking example. Opening the configuration. And um, here we are, username SA for the hypersonic, the driver. So, actually, we could uh, change uh, the start data here, but uh, I will show you another way. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, stop playing the application server. Else we would uh, get a lot of uh, errors and uh, that's very annoying. So then we take our MySQL um, driver which we need of course in the download folder but we want to paste it here in the JBoss server default lib. There we have some uh, libs and drivers and um, now our, our MySQL uh, connector. So let's uh, take a look in the database. MySQL. Here we are. Just a moment, we have to log in uh, with the root. Show databases. So we don't have a database. The first thing I want to do, I want to create a SOA 
a SOAR um, database so that we have um, the whole um, JBoss application, not just the booking application, but the whole application um, that this is uh, using the MySQL. So the first thing I want to do is uh, creating a data base SOAR. Yes, and um, now we have to to tell um, JBoss that um, JBoss uh, shall use it. So, so we have our so now. So to tell JBoss um, that we want to use uh, this one now, we have to go in the scheme folder Totes scheme and we just calling aunt there and um, now he's asking which configuration we want to take we are running the default configuration so uh, it's marked here so we just uh, hit enter which database do we want to take? We take my SQL from one. Now it's uh, creating some uh, XML files. And uh, which database? Uh, default is SOA. Yes, uh, we created a SOA database. We going for this one. Localhost. Okay. And um, default port. Username. We take uh, root as well. Password. We don't take anything. We so we told just. Um, that uh, JBoss is running on uh, MySQL, but actually the same booking application is uh, still in Hypersonic. So we go into the resources, and uh, there we have the data source XML here. But um, we don't want to use this one, so we change it. Now we have to take another path. Go on. So that we what we have to do is uh, change uh, this information with uh, the uh, parameters for the MySQL. So that's uh, actually this one. So let's make it a little bit beautiful. So saving and um, now we uh, actually uh, can uh, deploy it again. And um, yes, so we are just um, yes, we can uh, just uh, start uh, the patch uh, or the, the the application server again. And um, in the meantime, we are deploying our booking application again. So CD seem examples booking and then um, on explode yes so then we are taking a look at our um, data source XML file. Go in the default configuration, deploy, and um, finding the booking um, DS right here. And now we are switched uh, to uh, the MySQL. But what we didn't uh, had an error right here. We have to name the uh, the database actually. So it's the booking we're saving it and uh, actually we had to do it as well in the uh, original file so when we are deploying it again we will have an error of course but uh, what we didn't do we have uh, still no booking so what we are gonna do is um, create a database called booking here we are show databases okay so let's take a look uh, first.
first, um, if uh, JBoss is using the SOAR database in MySQL right now. So we're using SOAR and uh, show tables. Yes, we created uh, quite a lot of tables. So let's take use booking. And um, of course, it's empty. So what we have to do is uh, just calling our SIEM application. But um, let's just uh, take a look at the data. And uh, now we're there. Redirecting again. Locking in with our credentials. So nothing has happened. Admin. Admin. So we're taking a look at the um, SIEM application uh, data source, at the uh, the booking application, of course. Data sources, uh, booking, and uh, hopefully everything is right. Root, yes. The MySQL connector and uh, this one. So I think everything is uh, okay. Localhost seem booking. So in the meantime, let's uh, take a look uh, now here if we have some tables. Yes, booking customer and hotel. So when we are register a user, username Malvi Sve, real name Sven Malvik. And say FM6 and FM6 register. Okay. Select from cus customers. And here we have our user, Malvis Vies and Malvik. So we're finishing, it's uh, working and um, have a nice day.